Is my friend creepy or am I paranoid? 34F and 40F. I have a friend, Jane, 40F. I've known her five years, but at first we worked together for a year and didn't see each other outside work. We hang out, do activities, go to concerts, the movies, etc. She's really bubbly and super sweet to me usually. She has some depression issues, but she's very giggly and fun otherwise. Here's the thing. I keep feeling creeped out. This is why. When we go out, she won't really do anything until I do it. I will get a drink. She wants to get the same exact drink. She wants to get the same bartender to make the drink. If another comes over she won't talk to them. While out, I was dancing and having a good time and caught her taping me with her phone, then quickly pretending she wasn't. I didn't like it because I was trying to have a good time and wasn't aware I was being recorded and it made me not want to dance anymore. Later, we went out again, and I started watching for it, and sure enough, she was pretending to text someone, but I quickly leaned over and saw the camera was actually on her screen instead. I also have a dog. She met the dog, and suddenly she wants a dog. But not just any dog. She kept asking me if I was ever going to get rid of my dog. I told her his breed, and that I could help her find another, and she said well, it's just that my dog is so perfect. She wants my dog. I told her I've had him six years, I am not going to get rid of him. She decided she wanted to go to my gym. I told her I was going to a beginner yoga, she said she wanted to go and do it too. We got there, and we rolled out our mats. Jane put her mat right on mine, and I told her we have to move a lot, see everyone else is spaced way apart? Oh, she said, and moved it two inches from mine. I moved her mat a foot away. She then sat cross leg on her mat facing me. Even though we were supposed to be following the instruction, she watched me doing everything. I said, are you not going to do the yoga? She said oh I will later. It was a 30 minute instruction, when is later? So she sat watching me so closely from a foot away and people were looking at us funny. Like we were some weird fetish couple so I asked her again if she was going to participate she said no. I asked why she wanted to come then, and she said oh I don't know, I thought I would just watch. I've never seen someone just come and sit and watch people do yoga. When we went to a movie, I caught her staring at me instead of the screen, and I asked her why she said she was checking to see if I was enjoying the movie. Then I caught her several more times, and she laughed about it, but I lost interest in the movie entirely. I don't want someone staring me down when I'm trying to have fun. It makes other people then stare at us, because they think we're freaking weirdos. I have an uncommon disease. It takes a huge toll on my everyday life. She has asked me about it, and I tell her what I'm going through, symptoms, struggles, etc. One day she asked me if she could have it. I was confused, she has no symptoms. I told her this. She then said she has the same symptoms as me. She really doesn't. At all. It's a very serious illness. I fully believe she wants it because I have it. I now found out she has went to her doctor and trying to convince them that she may have it. She told me that she tested positive for it. There's no test that is definitive for it, they base it on your symptoms, and now I wonder if she's taking what I have been saying and relaying it to the doctor as her own symptoms and I feel a bit sick about it. I told her it's not something people want to have, but she seems to want it. I also told her there's no way to just test positive in one day, it takes months or years to be diagnosed. We have a good friendship, but I'm starting to feel like she wants to literally be me. I don't think she's attracted to me, she's very much straight but I get this creepy feeling she wants to be me entirely. I don't know how to address or if I'm paranoid. I would like to find a way to tell her she can no longer film me. I have asked in the past but she still keeps doing it. I also want her to stop staring at me. I went off on her recently about something small, and really it's because she wouldn't stop staring at me so every little thing she did annoyed me. My dad knows about this and said one day she's going to wear my skin like Ed Gain while petting my dog. He wasn't laughing. Update. I was shocked how many comments this got, and how many are saying it's creepy. I didn't want to be overreacting. I am going to take some time to catch up with the comments, and also watch some of these movies everyone is mentioning, to see if the behavior is similar. And hash x200b. You need to let others close to you know about this behavior and continue to log it. Your friend sounds incredibly creepy. Please be safe and install cameras around your home etc. Make sure close friends and family know where you are at all times. Keep a close eye on your dog. This lady sounds frightening. This person is obsessed with you. How many red flags do you actually need? Would you honestly be surprised if you caught her breaking into your house or having some set of notes on your daily routine? Throw away the whole friendship and trust your instincts. Step 1. 
Watch single white female. Step 2. Block her number. Step 3. Move to an undisclosed location. For real, she's being seriously creepy. Yeah this is creepy AF. Like single white female, the movie, creepy. You really need to distance yourself from this. She is a stalker that you've let into your life. This person is not your friend. Giggly and fun equals reflecting your behavior back at you. She is mirroring your behavior. Maybe her last friend pretended to die to stop the stalking. Maybe her last friend died, accidentally, when she tried to take over their life. There is no sign on someone's chest that says, did not have enough evidence to charge with murder. You do not know anyone from her personal life before you came along. Giant fucking red flag. You need to suddenly be too busy. You need to install home cameras. Stalker. Time for you to read The Gift of Fear. Available at most libraries. JFC, keep track of her creepy ass behavior, and stop talking to her. She sounds SWF, roommate levels of creeptastic. Get this bitch out of your life. Stop hanging out with her as much. She is definitely a creep. Lol. Does she not have a lot of friends? Once you stop hanging out, maybe she'll find new friends and be less creepy. Or even just leave you alone altogether. You could also just be honest and tell her how you feel. Like, here are some things that make me uncomfortable. Can you please stop doing X, Y and Z because it's taking a toll on our friendship. Maybe she'll change her creepy ways. Your dad is right. You should stop talking to this person and maybe change your locks.